say fraction, nightmare. It's not really a nightmare, but it's just not really fun. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and um, I'm just going to rewrite this as x to the 1 half. Okay, instead of square root of x, I'm going to rewrite it as x to the 1 half. Now the other thing I want to do is I can distribute this to every single term. So therefore, this is 2x cubed over 2x to the 1 half minus 3x squared over 2x to the 1 half plus 7x over 2x to the 1 half plus 5 over 2x to the 1 half. Because guys, if you were to add and subtract all of these fractions, you would keep the common denominator and this add and subtract the numerators, right? Right? So you can do it that way. Now again, remember what happens when we are dividing powers? When we divide exponents, we subtract. Right? So basically what we need to do is we need to have everything as a power of 2. So in reality, instead of x to the third, we should really write that as 6 over 2. Instead of 2, we should really write that as 4 halves. Instead of 1, we should really write that as 2 halves. And then this is really x to the 0, which will make our math a little bit easier. All right, so let's go ahead and subtract now. Again, I'm just simplifying. I haven't even done the derivative yet. Because I want this in the most simplified form possible. 2's divide out. 6 halves minus 1 half is 5 halves. Minus 3 halves. 4 halves minus 1 half is going to be 3 halves. Plus 7 halves. 2 halves minus 1 half is x to the 1 half. Plus 5 halves. And that's going to be um, x to the negative 1 half. Okay, now we have our fun of bring it down, shake it down. So y equals, now again, remember, 1 is equivalent to 2 over 2. Yes? So when I'm subtracting 1, I'm really subtracting 2 over 2 because these are all fractions with the, pot, with the base of 2. So I'll get 5 halves times x to the uh, 3 halves minus 3 halves times 3 halves times x to the 1 half plus 7 halves times 1 half times x to the negative 1 half plus 5 halves times negative 1 half times x to the negative 3 halves. It's okay, Brett, right? It's not that bad. It's just fractions. And then let's just go ahead and simplify. 5 halves x to the 3 halves minus 9 fourths x to the 1 half plus 7 fourths x to the 1 half, because that's negative. I'm going to put it in the denominator. Plus, oh, that becomes a minus. So that's minus 5 fourths. And since that's negative, I'm going to put it in the denominator as positive. Okay? You can write them as radicals, but we'll leave it like that. But ladies and gentlemen, fractions are going to be a part of your life in this class. Okay?